Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to train Stable Diffusion in 2023. Of course, training an AI model like Stable Diffusion is a complex thing to do and a resource-intensive intensive, sorry, process. So let's dive right into the steps involved in a simplified manner to train this AI model. So make sure to stick by and let's dive right into it and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. Of course, before starting the training process, it's crucial to define your objectives. So make sure to de determine or determine your uh, specific tasks or domain you want stable diffusion to excel in, whether it's generating realistic images, enhancing image quality, or improving the image text translation. Having a clear objective will guide you will guide your training process. And of course, to train the stable diffusion, you will need a diverse and representative database. You can simply collect high quality images or text that aligns with your defined objectives and clean and pre-process the data by removing irrelevant or duplicate samples and normalizing the data formats and ensuring data consistency. So, of course, we'll start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow the tutorial steps with, I'm coming here, um, or I'm using in this tutorial, the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open your browser, go to this URL section and simply type stable diffusion and hit the enter button. That should open this for you directly. So simply make sure to go and click on the first link to start using it. Of course, you can even go here and see the public re release, which is the normal one, and see a lot of information about it. So as I said, go to their official website to uh, stay informed. So for us, we'll just go and click on the first link. And as you can see here, we have Stable Diffusion Online or web.com. So as you can see, Stable Diffusion is a latent text to image diffusion model capable capable, of course, of generating photorealistic or realistic images given any text input, cultivate uh, autonomous freedom to produce incredible imaginary, empowers billions of people, people to create stunning art within a second. You can simply create beautiful art using Stable Diffusion Online for free, as you can see. So simply, you can click here on Get Started for Free, or you can simply go and click on Add This Prompt Database, and that will take you here. As you can see to the database or to the prompt, so you can see the stable diffusion prompt search engine here, explore mainly AI generated images. So if people like or they did something, you can go and search it from here. As an example, I don't know, house in the forest and night with the moon as an example. And click on search. And we will see, as you can see, some uh, people that already did that. And you'll find here the images, as you can see. So they will even show you what they typed here and what they search. And so they can generate this for us. As we said, we'll have to click on start for free. And as you can see, we'll have to simply go here and enter our prompts. So, of course, just enter your prompt and click to uh, the generate button. No code required to generate your image. And of course, and due to large numbers of users, the server may experience problems. So if you have any, if you are experiencing any problems, no worry, you'll have to simply wait a bit or go back another time. And it's not going to be a big problem. So if, as you can see, if you encounter any er error, please try again, or you can simply go and try again in the next time. Because as I said, maybe a lot of people using it this, at this time and it's still just a, it's a beta version and it may have some problems. So it's not be a new problem. So as you can see, you'll even here have some advanced options. If you want to, as you can see, advanced settings are temporarily available. So they are not available at the moment, but normally you'll be able to uh, enter how much images you want, the steps, the guidance scale and the seed and a lot of other stuff. And of course, if you didn't know what you would like to enter here as a prompt, you can simply go down here and take examples. As you can see, high tech solar punk, Eotubia and the Amazon rainforest and a lot of other stuff that you can take as an example. So we can simply click on it. And as you can see, it will be right away pasted here. And of course, once you type whatever you want, click on generate images and you will have to wait a bit. As you can see, they tell us that it will take six seconds. Of course, this could take more, not uh, like it should not be six seconds exactly. But as you can see, once it's finished, as you can see, you will, find, you will have your four images here. You'll be able to share it to the community if you want. 
or simply click on whatever image you like and you'll be able to save it for your device and if you click on it it will and go through all the four images that uh, generated of course you can even change this as an example so let's just change this to as an example to a red moon of course let's just try and click on generate images of course this will take uh, maybe two five seconds so we'll have to wait a bit until the process finish as i said this may take longer and as you can see those are the images prompt or generated by the stable diffusion as an example you can give it a complex thing as an example so let's just uh, uh, try an example or human uh, walking on the sun as an example, only just add uh, while the sun <laughs> is attacking Earth. Let's just try that as an example. Uh, and Earth, <laughs> no, no, let's let just leave it like that. And we can add something in the future, maybe. So this will take in five seconds, maybe. So we'll have to wait a bit of the processing again. And let's see. I mean, this look a bit awkward because it was even, it's hard, I guess, to generate, but it's fine. It seems, it's kind of get the idea. So let's just do something like nice and easy. Of course, you can go and delete, of course, any images that you didn't like, or simply, uh, you can simply just take the image that you want and leave the others if you didn't like all of them. So, of course, here, as, as I said, you can simply explore the, uh, all the options here of course enter all your prompts then of course you can even go and explore uh, and open source alternatives and you can even understand the workflow of it exactly by reading all of this here so you can get uh, good generated images if you want to and of course you can even experiment with the text description then refine and uh, iterate and of course make sure to share and collaborate once you finish and the like you generated a good image make sure to share it to the community and collaborate with others because share your generated image with others and collaborate with the stable diffusion community or other platforms dedicated to the ai generated art of course uh, engage with discussions and exchange ideas as an example and learn from fellow other people so we can share your work and receive feedbacks and can and of course this can enhance your understanding of stable diffusion and inspire new creative directions and of course as you use your stable diffusion make sure to provide uh, feedback to the developers reporting any bugs suggesting improvements or sharing your experience and contribute uh, to the refinements on future development of stable diffusion of course your feedback will help shape the tool and make it even better for future users we can even go and try other options from here, from this example, as an example, and generate the images. And of course, this uh, generating images will help you train like this table diffusion AI. And of course, the most important uh, other things that you can do to uh, train this AI is to have your feedbacks and share to the community. So if we reach this point of this video, congratulations, you've learned uh, how or the simplified steps involved to train in Stable Diffusion in 2023. Of course, remember, training an AI model like Stable Diffusion requires advanced knowledge and in computational resources and access to large database. It's a complex process that involves defining objectives, gathering the processing data as an example, and start using this example, then sharing it to the community and uh, giving your feedback. Of course, this will help you train the uh, stable diffusion uh, AI while it's still in the test or the beta test. So thank you for watching and I hope this tutorial has given you value or you value has given you some values insights into the training process of stable diffusion. So make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this. So thanks for watching again and I'll see you in the next video.